good morning. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Sarah, and I am currently six weeks, three days pregnant with my first baby that I conceived through IVF. Um, I am 38 years old and single, so I am choosing to become a single mother by choice. And I am headed to my second ultrasound. I had um, an early ultrasound a week ago at five weeks, three days, um, just because I was having some bad cramping and I just wanted to make sure that the uh, gestational sac was in utero and it wasn't an ectopic um, and it wasn't, so I'll link that video um, above. And now I'm hoping that this ultrasound we get to see a, so last time we just saw a yolk sac, a gestational sac and a yolk sac. And I'm hoping this time we get to see a fetal pull and possibly a heartbeat. Um, I'd love to see a heartbeat, but I'd really love to hear a heartbeat. I don't know if it's going to be too early. I think some people hear a heartbeat this early, but some don't. Um, and I also have a, a subchorionic hematoma that we need to check on. Um, so I'm hoping that that magically got reabsorbed. Um, I still haven't had any bleeding, so I don't know. And, and the hematoma is between the sac and my cervix, so you would think that I would have some bleeding um, unless it just gets reabsorbed. So. Um, and then, of course, I have um, the cyst on my right ovary, the really big cyst on my right ovary, a smaller cyst on my left ovary, um, but I don't really have hope for those going down until the second trimester from what I hear. Uh, hopefully I get the same ultrasound tech that let me film the ultrasound last time, and um, I'm able to film it again for you guys and of course I'm well I'm running right on time but by the time I check in and stuff I'll be like three minutes late um so I'll see you guys in a little bit so that's a lot bigger this week than yeah. last week Can you hear it too? Are we you... don't like to put the Doppler on it. Oh, okay. I'll put the M mode, which gets the heart rate, but um, we don't like to put the Doppler on this early. Got it. So I didn't realize that you could only hear through the Doppler, not through like this. Yeah. So there's the crown rump. So that gives us like a half a centimeter, which is six and one, which is pretty much right on target, you know? Mm-hmm. And you can see that heart going. Oh see it? Oh, God, yeah. So right where you should be, you mm -hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And I think, I mean, is the hematoma over? It's probably here. So yeah. It looks like it so went down. So it's gotten down. a little smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, like, the gestational sac has grown, but that has stayed the same. Or yeah, it, I, you know, I don't remember what the size was. So I can look at the report. We'll you know, find and, out, and if, yeah. and I'll type it when I go back to Beechwood. Um, but it's probably shrunk too. Like I told you, it'll reabsorb. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's good. And it happens like implantation. It will like kind of get caught behind it. You know, right. Gosh, I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. okay, try to hold your breath a second. Okay. I know it's hard. Okay, breathe. Just because your uterus is <laughs> like moving. <laughs> okay, so 108. That's good. So at this point you don't measure 
you measure the fetal pole, you don't measure the gestational sac anymore, right? Because it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Unless it looks weirdly big or small. Right, right. Like, there's times like it might look weirdly just small like and then there might be something going on mm -hmm. you know yeah like we just kind of have an eye that we know it looks weird <laughs> yeah you know but it looks perfect so interesting how they're they come in different shapes you know sometimes you see it as a circle sometimes you see it as what do you mean like oh. the gestational sac mm -hmm. Well, I think your uterus just kind of tips a little mm -hmm. bit there, so I think it's kind of following that, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have this the good, like, see the, how it's brighter around there? Mm -hmm. You have that nice look around that, you know, so that's always, like, a good... Is that kind of like what the triple stripe translates to when you're pregnant? <laughs> you know, I have no idea if that's... It could be, you know, so... Some of that stuff, I don't know how it comes out. <laughs> right. what angle you put the wand in it changes the shape of it mm -hmm. less crisp this time like less defined mm -hmm. edges I don't know if that means yeah anything. stuff out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you know. I'm, I'm happy with the donor I picked mm -hmm. this for the second round, because mm -hmm. the first round, like, physically he was really cute, mm -hmm. but, like, there was something about him that didn't sit right with me, and I, didn't, I couldn't put my finger on it. Mm -hmm. Then when that first round failed, I was like, well, I get Maybe to pick some. another donor. Mm -hmm. I'll still mention this, you know. Yeah. But um but I think like, you know, this all looks really good. Okay, I'm back. Um obviously you guys got to see what happened. Of course I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to hear the heartbeat, but I guess they don't do that. Um I have to ask I have to ask my friend when she had her um ultrasound if she got to hear the heartbeat. At least I got to see the heartbeat. So that, of course, was exciting. But I think like the first time I actually hear the heartbeat is gonna be emotional for me. But the ultrasound tech is counting my due date from my last menstrual period instead of from my transfer. Um, 
which throws it off a day. So she thinks I'm six weeks, two days today, but I'm actually six weeks, three days. And the fetal pole was measuring six weeks, one day. So that would be two days behind, which isn't a big deal. Um, and it looks like my subchorionic hematoma um, went down a little bit, or at least stayed the same because like my gestational sac looks a lot bigger, but I guess we'll see um, the measurements later on the report. Um, I'm glad there was a heartbeat, and I think she said, I'll have to go back and look at the video, I think she said 108. Um, and I know you want it to be, I think you want it to be above 100, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't, I, I didn't research that that much, but I feel like I heard that somewhere. Um, and then I got my little picture. I'll insert a better, closer up picture of it. Um, and so you can definitely see the yolk sac and the fetal pole. And it was just, yeah, it was really cool to see the little moving heart. So I'm glad everything seems to still be going well. Um, I don't know if they're going to let me get another ultrasound. I did schedule my first appointment with a midwife on, um, at nine weeks. So, um, it'll, it'll be, I think, I think May 21st. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. But she said that she doesn't really do too detailed of an ultrasound, just like looks at the baby real quick. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to hear the heartbeat. I hope soon. I might not be able to until then, but I don't know. I don't know. Like everybody gets to hear the heartbeat at some point, right? <laughs> um, so yeah. And I did want to apologize for, I literally have absolutely no makeup on and my hair is still wet. And it's so funny when I let my hair air dry, it gets like so curly under here. It's just weird to see. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the real me. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I will see you guys um, for my six week update and seven week bump date this weekend. And um, I hope you guys have a great week. And thank you again for all the well wishes and sweet comments as always. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.